สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to today's video. If you're a traveler, an expat in Thailand, a foreign retiree, or someone looking to navigate the process of getting a c a r a 22, you are in the right place. My name is Samantha, and I'm the Thai immigration supervisor here at Siam Legal, and I'm here to guide you through the steps to get this important document efficiently and legally. So, what exactly is a c a r a 22? This document. Issued by the District of Thailand, serves as proof that a marriage involving a Thai national, which was conducted outside of the country, has been registered in Thailand. It's an important piece of paperwork that may be required for various legal and administrative purposes. For those wanting to visit their embassies in Thailand, they can help you with the document certification. The process can be relatively straightforward. Here's what you need to do. First, you'll need to make sure your marriage contract and your passports are certified by your embassy here in Thailand. This certification. And verifies the documents. Next, you'll need to have these documents translated into Thai, and the translations should also be certified. This step guarantees that Thai authorities can understand your document's content. Once translated, the documents must be legalized by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This step ensures the documents are legally recognized in Thailand. With your documents now approved, you can take them to the district office. They will process your request for the Kara 22 or family registration, and you'll be one step closer to have. This important document in hand. But what if your embassy in Thailand can't assist with the document certification? Don't worry, there's a process for you too. You'll need to get your marriage contract and passports apostilled by your State Department, and then by the Royal Thai Embassy in your home country. This process validates the authenticity of your documents. Just like in the previous case, your documents need to be translated into Thai to ensure they are acceptable by Thai authorities. Once translated, the documents must be legalized by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This Step is essential for legal recognition in Thailand. Finally, with your legalized documents in hand, you can visit the district office. They will process your request for the c a r a 22 family registration, giving you the proof you need. And there you have it: the clear and simple steps to getting a c a r a 22 or family registration document. This document can be a valuable asset for anyone looking to navigate the intricacies of the Thai bureaucracy. Thank you for watching, and I hope this guide helps you in your journey. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And subscribe for more informative content. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Have a great day and best of luck with your Kara 22 application.